Let's have a look at this coding example that codes the letters A, B, C, D, and E using the binary codes shown. So A is two zeros, B is three zeros, and so on. If we were to transmit the message 00011, is there going to be any ambiguity at the receiving end? Well, the receiver could decide to decode this message as BD or ACE or BEE. But what's causing this ambiguity? Let's examine the message for a second. It starts off with three zeros. Now that could be the letter B, or it could be the letter A and then the start of another letter. The problem we have here is that the letter A is a prefix for the way that the letter B is encoded. Likewise, E is a prefix for D. When we build codes, we don't want the codes to be prefixes of one another because it creates ambiguity at the receiving end. Let's look at an example of a Huffman code instead. Here we have the same five letters, but now you notice that none of the codes are a prefix of the others. If we were to, for example, send a message such as 00010011111, you can see that this message is going to be uniquely decoded as A, B, C, D, and E. When a coding technique does not have any prefixes in it like this, it is said to have the prefix property. This is a fundamental property of Huffman coding. This is one of the benefits you get automatically by using a Huffman code. 